Hey y'all, Sam here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a review of the AOA Studios Glow Baby Glow. AOA Studios, if you don't know, is a brand that shop Miss A sells and pretty much all of their products are $1. You heard me right, $1. So I know they're really little, but come on, only a dollar a piece. So we have here five new illuminators. So these are like liquid highlighting drops that they have come out with. And we're gonna go ahead and try these out today. Okay, so one thing I'm noticing with these is they do not have a name on them. So I, I don't know why they do that sometimes, but they do not have a name. This first one is like a white iridescent. It has like a blue iridescent shift to it. So these little bottles are glass, which I can appreciate. And then you have your dropper here. All right, so here is the white one. And I'm just gonna draw a little line since I'm doing some like weird air swatches here. You can definitely see the blue shifting in this product. It's definitely illuminating. This is the first one, the white one with the blue iridescent. It is very pretty. I'm not sure if this is the kind of highlight I would want on my cheeks, but you know, if I'm going for like a galactic look, <laughs> this might be really good for that. So the next one we have is a more like soft pink kind of color. So here is the second swatch. It is very pretty. This color would look good on my skin tone. I could see me using this one as a highlighter. They do feel a bit oily, so I'm interested to see like when they finish drying down like what the texture is gonna feel like the next one we have I would consider like a gold color so here is the third one very pretty the next one I would call like a little bit more of a like champagne kind of color so here is the champagne color one And then the last one is the darkest one. I would call this like a bronze kind of color. So here is the last one, the bronze, very pretty as well. It's a little too dark for my skin tone, um, but the three middle ones, I'm really liking all three of those. Okay, I wanna be able to give you guys a closer look of the colors in the bottle compared to the swatch. So again, this is the first one, the blue shifting one. This is the second color, the rose one. Then here we have the gold one. And then here we have the champagne color. And lastly, we have the bronze color, which is right here. Now that we have swatched them all on my hand, I wanna go ahead and try two of them actually on my face so we can see how they apply and if they remove my foundation. I think the two that I'm gonna try is the gold and the champagne color. Again, they don't have names. That's just what I'm calling them based on their appearance. So we're gonna do the gold one first and I'm gonna apply it to this side of my face. Okay, I suggest just doing like a dab. Don't do a big swipe, cause then you get too much. It has a really good glow, y'all. Can you see it? You never know how it's gonna translate on video and I don't have the best lighting system, so I apologize for that, but um, it has a great glow to it. it. Does feel slightly oily. Now that these have been on my hand for a minute, I kinda wanna like rub it and see if they smear around. Um, and it looks like they did. As you can see when I smeared it around, it's kind of all over my fingers. So as beautiful as it is, I'm not sure it'll stay all day if you tend to touch your face a lot. But let's go ahead and do this side. Again, this side we're gonna use that champagne color. And I'm just gonna dab a few drops on. So this one has a good glow too, but doesn't seem as bright as this side. Uh, it's a little more dull. Let's just go ahead and put a little bit more on and see if we can build up that shine. So it does appear to me that you can build up the shine by adding a little bit more. 
but honestly, I'm really loving this glow. If you didn't have foundation on and you were going for like a natural look, this would look amazing. Um, I don't feel like it really removed any of my makeup, but it's been like 30 seconds. So uh, who knows how that's going to wear over the day. I'm gonna do a little highlight on my nose. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bust out this pink one. I know pink's probably not the best for my nose, but yeah, no. but I'm gonna try it out anyway. All right, so I just did one little dab and we're gonna dab her in here. All right, so putting that on my nose, I do see that it is removing my foundation and concealer slightly on my nose, but I have that problem all the time, keeping foundation and concealer on my nose anyway. So I do, for me, I don't suggest putting this on your nose. Great on your cheek, shoulders, collarbones, those kind of places, this would be fabulous. Again, these are roughly a dollar piece. I think it was like $5.55 for the entire set from shopmissa.com. And just so you know, these are animal and cruelty free. They have their little paw paw certificate, so that I can greatly appreciate. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you try out these highlighters because they're pretty great for like a buck. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you would like to, go ahead and hit that button. You can also hit the bell so you're notified each time I upload a new video. Well, I hope that you guys have a beautiful, fabulous day. And until next time, bye y'all.